guys, so I'm going to be giving you guys a question. When are we allowed to reopen? So in the first time in a while, we're going to be doing some Health Wolf. So in the past, I've created a bunch of new episodes of Health Wolf. Hang on just a second. Let me pull up my trusty Health Wolf playlist. Where did I put it? Uh, Star Wolf, Pinks and Challenges, Cool Math, Papa's Games. Ah, here we go. Health Wolf. So here's the episodes that I produced. And we're going to be learning about the coronavirus. When are we allowed to reopen? So before we get to that question, what should we do now? Obviously, all right, let's take a look at it. All right, so you got to wear a mask. I don't think social distancing is required anymore, you know, since it's not enough. Let's look at the symptoms real quick. All right. Let's look at the symptoms. All right, so people with COVID-19 have a wide range of symptoms reported, ranging from mild symptoms to severe illnesses. Symptoms may appear two to 14 days after exposure to the virus. People with these symptoms may have COVID-19. Fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headaches, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or right nose, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea. And when to a sick emergency, so here's some, like, any of these symptoms. Trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, new confession, inability to wake or stay awake, bluish lips or face. This is not all possible symptoms, all right. So let's look at, all right, let's ask a question on here. When are we allowed to reopen? Oh, no, wait. Let's continue with this first. Let's go to children and teens. Oh, well, good thing it's good thing I'm staying in the page, and it didn't just randomly stop. All right, children and teens can get COVID nineteen. While few children may have been sick with COVID nineteen compared to adults, children can be affected with a virus that causes COVID nineteen, can get sick from it, and can spread the virus that causes COVID nineteen to others. Children like adults have COVID nineteen but have no symptoms can still spread the virus to others. Most children with COVID nineteen have mild symptoms or have no symptoms at all. However, some children can get severely ill from COVID-19 and might require hospitalization, intensive care, or, to, or a ventilator to help them breathe. In rare cases, they might die. Children under one year old and children with certain underlying conditions may be more likely to have severe illnesses from COVID-19. Some might have asthma, diabetes, la, la, la. So here is the most common. I did some of these. Tiredness, headache, poor appetite, or poor feeding. So you should monitor your child with COVID-19 symptoms every day. Pay particular attention to fever, temperature of 100.4 degrees or higher, sore throat, new uncontrolled cough that causes difficulty breathing for a child with chronic allergic asthmatic cough. See if there is a change from their usual cough. Diarrhea, vomiting, or stomach ache, new onset of severe headache, especially with a fever. So I had a headache last night, but it actually wasn't as severe, so it couldn't have resulted in COVID. A headache, if you have an extreme severe headache, or the way some people do it, I think it's like, um, it's like with a, you have a headache and a, a stomach ache at the same time. Forget what it's called. Let me look it up on the web real quick. Let's see, people with headache and stomach ache. It would be called, on, I got this, a migraine. So let's go on to, let's learn some more. When should places reopen? All right. So obviously everyone's having like, a decision to reopen. Let's look at oh, reopening guidance for workplaces, schools, and you know, homes. Uh, no, I don't want feedback. All right, the guidance is intended for all Americans, whether you own a business, run a school, or want to ensure the cleanliness of this and safety of your home. So, you should always disinfect your area. And also, we should we're all thinking about reopening. 
I, I am so thirsty. Since we're talking about health, you should drink lots and lots of water. A healthy body can also strengthen your immune system and make you more immune to COVID. All right. If you're gonna ensure safe and effective use, you should wear skin protection and consider eye protection for potential splash hazards, such as goggles. Ensure adequate ventilation. Use no more than the amount recommended on the label. Use water at room temperature for dilution, less stay otherwise on the label. Avoid mixing chemical products, because you know they can explode. Label diluted cleaning products. Store and use chemicals out of reach and of children and pets. A few important things. All right. You can develop a plan. First, clean the surface of the object with soap and water. Then, disinfect using an EPA approved disinfectant. An e EPA approved disinfectant is unavailable. If an EPA di approved disinfectant is unavailable, you can use one third of a cup of bleach added to one gallon of water and 70% of alcohol solutions to disinfect. Do not mix bleach with or other cleaning and disinfection products together. Bleach solutions will be effective for disinfection up to 24 hours. Is the area outdoors? Outdoor gen this stuff this stuff's getting pretty boring. I examples of frequently touched surfaces that you'll need to disinfect. The following reopening tables, doorknobs, Light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, or unless just use like if you guys still use the landline, clean those up. If it's your own personal phone, such as an iPhone, you don't have to clean it. It's your own phone. It's not like you're going to be letting them use your iPhone. Touch screens. It's only if it's public. A public touch screen, like at Chili's, like they have those like at Chili's, they have those um iPad thingies that you have to pay for afterwards, but they, but they're for public use, so you gotta make sure you're washing those. ATM machines, gas pump handles, faucets and sinks, toilets, keyboards, such as this, unless it's your own and it's for your, it's private. Are you cleaning and disinfecting soft materials like carpet rugs or sinks in areas? Yep, clean those as well. All right. Let's look at reopening. So another place we're going to think about reopening is schools. Let's look at schools. Okay, we're going to be, most schools such as the Kern High are going to be reopening for some time this, this fall. As families and policymakers make decisions about their ch children returning to school, to put to consider the full spectrum benefits and risks both in person and virtual learning options. Aside from a child's home, no other setting has more influence on a child's health and well being rather than their school. The in person school environment does the following provide education instructions, supports the development of social and emotional skills, creates a safe environment for learning, addresses neutral needs and faculties' physical activity. For the COVID-19, right, we're not going to read all this. This is boring. All right. Safety. Extended school closures deprive children who live in unsafe homes and neighborhoods of an important layer of protection from neglect, as well as physical, sexual, and emotional maltreatment and abuse. 2018 Department of Health and Human Services report found that teachers and other educational staff were responsible for more than one-fifth of all reported child abuse abuse cases more than any other category reported. During the COVID-19 school closures, however, there has been a sharp decline in reports of suspected maltreatment, but tragically a notable increase in evidence of abuse when children are seen up for services, nutrition, physical activity, and conclusion. Schools are an important part of their, can't be that word, of our communities, and as they provide safe, supportive learning environment for students, employ teachers and other staff and enable parents, guardians, and caregivers to work. All right. But anyway, guys, that's all we take to get you this video. I'm going to bring back Health Wolf every once in a while, 
And what did you guys learn? Are you guys gonna? Do you guys want the schools to reopen? If you guys want anything to reopen, be sure to like button in the face and subscribe to my Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.